tragic accident claims the life of a local toddler. The 18-month-old boy died after a bookshelf fell on top of him. It's a story we first told you about. It's breaking news on Eyewitness News Live at 5. And tonight, we've learned the incident is prompting others to look for possible dangers around the house. From the Blackstone Valley Mobile News Room, Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is in Winsocket now with what he's learned. I spoke with many neighbors and eyewitnesses. All of them tell me this is an unbelievable tragedy. I can only imagine what they must be going through. Neighbors react after a fatal accident at this Winsocket home. Please tell us Monday afternoon an 18 month old boy died after he was hit by a falling bookshelf at this Parker Street home. Eyewitnesses say he was unconscious as he was rushed away in an ambulance. The young boy died at the hospital. It's, it's too dangerous nowadays. You, you can't take your eyes off of your children for, for a second. Wayne Noel's a neighbor and has four young kids in his home. He says he's trying to avoid the same tragedy. It made me look in my house, look around, see what can fall on my kids or anything that could hurt them. And I found something that could fall on my kids, which will be removed. Noel walked us around his apartment looking for issues. I mean, they grab, they just grab them and you can see. Oh. Even the dresser alone. I mean, and that's barely pulling on it. He then saw this bookcase sitting unattached on top of another, a potential danger. That really has me concerned. Sadly, the death of the 18-month-old boy is not an uncommon story. Eyewitness News dug deeper and found that, according to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, on average every year in the U.S., 22,000 children are rushed to the hospital after being injured by falling furniture, TVs, and appliances. Noel hopes no more children suffer the same fate in his neighborhood. I, I don't know what I would do if anything. God forbid something like that was to happen to my kids. I don't, I don't know if I could handle something like that. Winsocket police tell us they're still continuing to investigate. Stay with Eyewitness News for the latest information. Reporting with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.